Hi, I'm August Bryce from techwellness.com and I'd like to talk about wireless devices and the radiation they emit. And so these are Muse. This is a Muse meditation assistance and actually I thought this was so cool. So what it does is you put it on, you turn it on, it's not on right now, and these sensors sense your brain waves and you have it connected to your phone which has the Muse app and you can actually see if you get into a meditative state and when you are you hear the sound of lovely little birds when you're not you might hear like thrashing waves And I thought, oh, that's so cool because I've meditated for 30 years and I wanted to see where I was actually getting to when I meditated. And so I got to see, and I do actually recommend them to try once. I wouldn't use them over and over again because you know how I feel about radiation, even low level Bluetooth radiation? I feel like it messes with the energy in my body. In fact, I know it does. And I would get a very big headache if I kept them on for longer than five minutes or even some days if off, I'm feeling very, very, um, you know, it depends on, on how stressed I am, how much of the EMF really, really affects me on any given day. So as you know, I walk on the beach, I meditate without any Bluetooth around me. I live in an EMF free home. Right now with this meter, you're seeing the level of radiation in this home. There's no Wi-Fi. there's no smart meter, there are no smart any devices, no Bluetooth, and no cell phone. And this is the level of radiation that you can see with the acoustometer. And this is with the TES meter. It's measuring the maximum measured value right now. So what you see is very low radiation. And now I'm going to turn on the Muse and you're gonna see why I don't wanna use it you know, more than once when I saw how I was meditating. I was meditating quite well, by the way. Okay, so here I just powered it on. Right away, we see a little spike. Right now, it's not doing anything. It's just connecting to, it's looking for the cell phone to connect to. And already, look where we are. And then I'm gonna show you with my acoustometer. I love this meter because it allows you to hear. So you're gonna hear the spikes. Hear those little spikes of the Bluetooth? Now this is low level radiation, but still, for some people like me, it's too much to be exposed to, especially right up against your head. So I wanted to show you that today, that all of your wireless devices are emitting some low amount, maybe sometimes a high amount, of the high frequency, non-ionizing radiation that powers all of our wireless devices. If you'd like to see more of my videos or if you like this one, please give me a thumbs up because I really appreciate when people like my videos and take the time to watch them and share that they like them with me. That makes me feel great because I do work hard to bring this information. I purchase things and I do not take them back because I think that's rude because I wanna show you just what's going on with wireless. So I'm August Bryce, my site is techwellness.com. Thank you so much for watching, be well.